I am conceited. I got a reason. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Soy Cara. And <laughs> I'm here today with another video for you guys, okay? I'm gonna be showing you guys how I installed and maintained this little, you know, cute ass wig that I'm gonna go in a little baggie. Um, I got this hair from my, my hair company, okay? SK Beauty Mark shop SK Beauty Mark for high quality wigs, bundles, closures, and frontals. Okay, um, I told you guys I was gonna be more consistent. I told you guys that I was coming all 2021 with the videos, and that's what I'm doing. I'm on the road to 100 subscribers, actually 1K subscribers. So I'm trying to get up there. I'm trying to get up there real quick, real soon. Um, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Zoe Cara. Hit that follow button, okay? And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys tune into more videos. There's more to come. But before we get into this video, okay, make sure you guys press that like button, leave a comment below, and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, okay? Hit that subscribe button. Here you go, okay? But let's just get straight into the video, okay? I'm gonna be showing you guys how I install this wig, let it blend in a little bit. How I, do, how I do my little baby hair, y'all. I'm not a hairstylist, okay? I don't do hair on other people. I just do it on myself, you know, because it's easier that way. And I only go to hairstylists for two reasons. For a special occasion, like my birthday or something, or a, for a photo shoot. Let's hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys tune in and it's going to come. And yeah, so we're about to go straight into this video okay okay y'all so this whole process takes me about 15 minutes to do because i'm gonna work i don't wake up on time <laughs> i literally just wake up like an hour before well two hours before i have to go to work and it takes me an hour to get to work not an hour with traffic and all that i like to give myself some time so I literally just like washed my lace and my wig a little bit and I don't know if you guys can see but there's like a hole in my lace so I have like pins on my wig head and it got caught in a pin and a whole bunch of foolish shit happened where I um ripped my lace a little bit and uh, a little bit of makeup can fix it, you know, this blend it in. So lace is really thin. That's the best part about shopping at SK Beauty Mark. You know, you get high quality hair and good lace. So right now, I got my my brush, a little makeup. This is kind of dark for my skin, but since it's summertime and this is all Target had, this is the best I can honestly do. So I'm about to just. Dab my brush into right here. I'm gonna grab my lace. And then I'm gonna just like this. Just so you know, it can at least match my skin color. I was using a lighter foundation before and I realized that it was actually too light for my skin and when I would lift my head up you can tell a little bit <laughs> so I'm using a darker powder foundation and yeah I realized that like from like the powder foundation is way better to help blend in your lace than the liquid foundation because I was using the liquid foundation for a while. I use got to be I don't use all that extra, all that extra glue, literally, because I like to take my wigs off at night when I come back home, because I, I need my hair to breathe. I need my leaks, what's under my hair, my, my wig to breathe. So I use got to be the glue, and then sometimes I just go in with some got to be free spray, just to like you know give it a little extra. So I'm about to just pop this bad boy onto my head. 
I don't have a wig cap. I don't really use wig caps because my my like, my mix is already really thick. So when I use wig, wig caps, the wig is super tight on my head and I don't like that. So I'm going to just pop this onto my head. I'm not going to show you guys how my hair looks under this because it looks really crazy. But I'm going to pop this onto my head off camera. And I'm going to come back off camera and <laughs> show you guys what I do. So you can see my mix like a little bit. <laughs> That's fine. Just use this comb. And this little brush. This is the old brush that I use. Because my, um, my edge brush is kind of hard to do right now. And I don't know if you have the time to clean it out. So this, this is going to do So boom. Got to be right. Oh, and I keep this little mirror right here. <laughs> I keep this mirror right here so I can actually see what I'm doing. So if I'm looking down majority of the time, then you know I'm looking in my mirror. So, boom. Just put a little bit on my hand and I just put it right below my edges. In order to like get my glue dry, I usually use my blow dryer or, but I'm not recording. I have my AC on all the time. So I usually just stand by my AC and just let it fan my wig or my hairline. I'm using this comb and I'm just pushing the hair back so no hair is going to be on the glue and I can stick it down. Doing that for both sides. And then, yo, my mix is showing crazy. This looks so crazy. So then I'm just going to pull it back. I'm going to lift my head forward to see if it's in the middle or not. Then I just apply it. Whew. Okay. So, literally, that's going to be my routine. But to just fix up my hair, I like oh, I like to just push it down against it. Well, not against it, against the lace. Yeah, I just want to make sure this is in the middle. I'm going to be so mad if it's not in the middle. I'm trying to see. Cause you know on camera you can tell the best. Alright, whatever. Hopefully it's in the middle. So I just took my dog out the cage and put her diaper on. I don't know why she's still barking. Luna! There she is. <laughs> there she is. But yeah. So right now I just stick the lace down. What? The comb, the comb makes it really easier to like push the lace down than your fingers. Yo, I have two dogs, so I have a boy and I have a girl. And right now they're just playing around. They love things. They love to fight. I hope they shut up. I'm recording. Y'all, hello, Luna, Luna. Are you guys right here fighting? Rest of them a little bit. So this is what I do. I just push the lace down, push it down, push it down, push it down. Some of the hair literally gets stuck to my forehead with the glue, but that is fine. Just push it down, push it down, push it down, push it down. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's looking real nice on camera right now. It's looking real nice on camera right now, okay? So, got my got to be free spray. Yep. Now I'm just gonna spray it a little. I like to spray it in the air, cause it's blue and it gets stuck. 
So I just spray it right here and I push, let's push it down a little bit. I need to say it to this side because this side, I don't know why the corners of my wigs never, never like stick to my forehead. So I like to go in again with that free spray and I like to push it down. And this is when I go back again to the AC and I like the AC fan my head. Now that everything is glued down, now we get to styling, okay? Now, I already have my baby hairs like made already, but it's kind of mixed in with my hair because I washed my lace. And then I take this right here. I grab my Nairobi Rabbit Shine Foam Lotion. It's, it's literally foam, like it's mousse. Literally, I just play around with my edges. I think my mom brought her back in her cage. That's why she's working. You know, I don't want to get up again. My hair and I just do it the best I can and they always normally look they always normally come out well. So So this is what I actually do. I try to like that. Now I'm going to do the other side. The first time like, you install a wig yourself, it's kind of hard. Like before you cut the lace and stuff like that because you actually have to know what you're doing. But once everything is already cut and already made for you, you can literally just keep installing that shit through. I really don't do nothing to like the hair itself like but sometimes I will add like this to it just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit Like, I'm looking like a, I'm looking like a little baddie right now, right? Alright. Like y'all can't tell me otherwise. Go on my little brush. And I also like to lift my head up like this so I could see under my lace to see if it's blended in properly. Because like with my other foundation, when I used to lift up my lace, I would see that it's kind of too bright on my skin. And then it would show in pictures as well. That's why I like. It was just like, I had to just change my foundation. And it's darker, so it's hard, it's gonna be harder for them to uh, see that it's a lace, you know? And that's literally it, y'all, like. That's it. And then I sometimes go with a spray bottle and just spray my hair and just get it to how I want it to look. So let me just go grab my spray bottle. I always, I always do this. I always forget like what I need. <laughs> and uh, I have to get up and go back. Actually, so my camera has died 
<laughs> my camera died. And um, I was trying to buy my spray bottle because I just felt like my sister took my spray bottle. So now I'm gonna use this old piece of shit. But when I did off camera, I just sprayed my hair off camera. And you see, now I was looking a little decent, you know? Now I was looking decent. Definitely looking decent. So that's literally it. That's all I do. Sometimes I go in and just add this to like the hair itself. Shop SKB more for high quality hair. That's on period. I am conceited. I got a reason. <laughs> Shop SK Green Month for high quality. Really think of watching this video. Make sure you press that like button. Drop a comment below. And hit that subscribe button, okay? Get me some 1K subscribers. Stay pretty, stay poppin', stay blessed. And I am out, period.